Hello everyone, and welcome back to the beauty of our beautiful new safari zone here in Zoo Tycoon 2, where we are watching the setting sun and the flapping of our tiny little bird eaters. Look at how pretty these guys are. Oh, I really, really hope that they settle in to our new zone quite well, that they find themselves to be quite at home, and uh, will hopefully spread mini flocks through the entire area. Area. Oh my gosh, it is getting very dark now. All right, we probably should wiggle our way back over to our little camp. And in fact, I have been thinking we should go ahead and expand our little camp while we have the money to do so, because this is going to be like the area that I like to imagine all of us happen to bunk in. And you guys made me laugh so hard by first exclaiming your extreme excitement over this brand new beautiful area that we are now in charge of. Let the truth of that sink into your bones, my friends. Uh-oh, and the bee-eaters are getting really thirsty. Can you guys, uh, you're very thirsty, friend. Can you not make it to the water? Okay, uh, let's make a little rain puddle for the bee-eaters. That's going to be our first job as we sink our, our thoughts about how we are so responsible for them into our bones. But yes, I am so excited that you guys are looking forward to being back in Zoo Tycoon 2. Let's have like a little rain puddle maybe show up back here. Uh, we'll do like a tiny little rain puddle right there. Let's try a little rain puddle maybe like right over here. And another one maybe over here. Oh, it just kicked our little berry ball. That was so cute. All right, hang in there little ones. And then we're going to go ahead and... We want to kind of smooth out our tiny little rain puddles that we have just made for these guys. Hopefully, hopefully they can figure this out, but I'm not sure if they can. All right, let's make it so that it's nice and easy to get to the rain puddles. Thankfully, it must have rained during the night. And are you guys not gonna... They may not know what to do with that. So let's have a little pool of water. Oh, we can do it like this. Okay. So let's put down a little pool of water, like next to the rain puddles that we have just created. And we'll put a few of them around, like maybe a couple over here. And how we will kind of hide these so that it looks more naturalistic. Uh, oh, oh, geez, they were thirsty. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys. I'm sorry. Apparently they're too they're too worried. They're way too worried about possibly getting uh snapped up by a crocodile to go over to the rain puddles. But now we need to make the rain puddles uh actually look like they're hidden. So let's work together, my friends, and think about what we could put down. Oh, look at everybody. Everybody was so thirsty. Oh my gosh, making a natural area is going to be a little tricky. But I think we can do it, especially if we find a way, like rain there, like, and do I have little bushes? Let's look for like some little bushes. Here's some desert grass. That's not going to really help us. I mean, we could always just try to hide it under a bunch of daisies. There is that. And just say that it's like an interesting little rain puddle. Did that work? Only from one side. All right, let's try to be a little more creative. <laughs> they can't go through rocks. 99% sure they can't. What is that? Oh, that's the falcon thing. Okay. Falcon punch. Let's see. Um, here are our trees. Maybe, can they go through a tree, I wonder? Like, can we put a tree like this? And then can they go, and we can imagine that the tree has got, like, roots? Let's try that. We're gonna put down some trees. We probably don't need this many of the water dishes either. But let's try putting down some trees and imagine that the tree roots are what are covering these up. There we go. And they drink kind of like little puddles that show up at the tree roots. And let's see why this guy is so thirsty. I think, are you stuck little friend? Oh, wait, 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 is he coming over to the... Oh, I think he's coming down guys. I think he's actually working his way down. Okay, into the water, maybe. Oh, over here, so far so good. And let's make sure that this little one is being taken care of. All right, you happy little bee eater? 
And also, with the spreading of the trees, we can spread the insects that happen to be near those trees as well. Uh, so hopefully, is he happy now? Yeah, look at that! Much, much happy bee, happier bee eater. So let's spread some insects and another tree over here. Yeah, he was really hungry. There we go, all right. So we're gonna have to kind of be very creative with how we populate the area with plants and animals. Um, oh, and I'm definitely gonna need, there's scat, there is scat, my friends. So we have bird poo. Uh, I've never actually looked up close at that before. And my goodness, it does kind of look like a bird poo. Uh, chickenberry, trust me, I have seen what you have to offer. But this is what I'm talking about. We do need to have some researchers. Who are you guys? coming and joining us uh, so that you guys can help me to kind of check in on the bee eaters. They are going to be wild animals as we, we, we as we rewild this safari zone. But we should, you know, come through and occasionally pick up their scat and like search and see how the tree is doing and be like, hmm, yes, it seems that it has collected a lot of rainwater around its base and the little animals like to drink from it. Uh, so yeah, I do need to have some of you guys here as zookeepers and today I forgot to pull up a list of names, but if you guys would like to join as zookeepers, then just go ahead and leave a comment talking about like what you would do here in our zoo, like that we have so far. Or it's not a zoo, <clears throat> and you you wouldn't be zookeepers. Uh, let me try that again. If you guys would like to become researchers here in the safari, then do please leave a comment and just let me know what you would spend your day researching based off of how our safari looks right now. We have no elephants, so if you talk about taking care of the elephants, I'm going to be a little confused. But if you would like to come and be a zookeeper, and when I add in more researchers, not zookeeper, researchers, then just go ahead and leave a comment and then you can come and scoop scat, which I know all of you are extremely excited about. Oh, see, this guy has the right idea. All right, so hopefully the bee eaters are a little bit better. But to keep them better <laughs> and to scoop the scat, I am going to need some help. So let's go ahead and put in a couple fences over here. And we'll put in a couple fences over here. And maybe a fence over here. Hmm. Well, actually, whoa, there's so many people here. Wow, we need to get their money, guys. I have to find some way to pay you. Uh, but then let's grab a couple zookeepers. So we're just going to go ahead, <laughs> I mean, a couple researchers. And we're going to go ahead and add uh, four is probably plenty for quite a while. Now we have four wonderful researchers who are going to be helping us. Oh, this is so cool, actually. Actually, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. And these are going to be some of you guys, uh, which is really fun. Oh, that's awesome. But yes, so before I start yammering on, we do need to have some income coming on in. Oh, and people are tossing money into this really cool fountain. That is awesome. Uh, I need their money though. I don't want the money to go in the fountain. I want the money to go in my pockets. So let's come and have, we need a little donation. Give us your funds, please so that we can run our establishment. Um, miscellaneous, where are my, are they gonna be over here? Yeah, donation boxes, there we go. All right, so I actually love the endangered species donation box because it has ferns on it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that down uh, because I definitely want to have, there we go. We're gonna give them some donation boxes there and then It'd be kind of cool if I could put it right next to the fountain, but I guess I can't. Maybe maybe right at the entrance so they can kind of think about it while they're here. There we go. So that we can try to take care of this area that would have otherwise have been turned into a ski resort. Uh, and then we'll put another donation box maybe over here. Oh my gosh, the bee eaters are pregnant. They're gonna be having some babies, guys. That's so exciting. Uh, all right, so we do wanna start collecting some from our guests. Now we have researchers here. We have some of our guests who are coming here. There we go. We'll put down a couple little spots where people can donate if they feel so inclined. And then they're complaining because they do wanna sit down. I would, I would complain about wanting to sit down too. 
Uh, and we are going to be paying more attention to what goes on in the safari. But while we are busy in the safari, researching, watching the lives of the animals play out, I'm really excited to actually be able to start naming. And after you guys, we're going to start naming the researchers after, after some of you. Uh, and we're going to start naming the animals after some of you. And it'd be so much fun just to follow lineages and generations of these animals. Uh, that is fine. Oh dear. But it'd be so much fun to do that. So if you guys would like, then just leave a comment and you will become one of the animals in the zoo. Let's go ahead, or <clears throat> in the safari. It's going to take me a little while to get used to that. More ferns! Who doesn't love ferns? Who doesn't love ferns? All right, we'll add in a few spots for people to sit just to start with. And then I think we'll make like a fun little campground over here in a little bit too. But people should have nice places. We can even make like a little fern. I think we should make like a little fern grotto over here. So people who are sort of like waiting for their family or friends can have a nice little relaxing spot at the entrance. Since the people are not going to have a lot of room to roam. They're going to be contained just in this area. However, we need their generosity to not be contained at all. We need them to feel quite ambitious when it comes to donating to our cause. Uh, so it is worth our while to invest in some nice comfy benches. I kind of want to put like a big tree in the middle right here. And then we'll put benches on either side like this. And then let's actually expand this out one. Kind of make it a little bigger. There we go. Maybe a little bigger on this side too. There we go. Oh look, everybody was so tired. They immediately sat down. Yeah, that was good on us to give them a new spot to sit. All right, this is gonna be cool guys. We've got this. Let's put a nice big mystery tree of some kind. Uh, ooh, well, I do want it to at least somewhat vaguely <laughs> seem like it should be a tree that belongs here. So let's see. Ooh, a camel thorn acacia tree. Wonderful. Don't touch it, guys. It's going to be literally covered in painful thorns. I don't think that you all would appreciate that. Maybe some daisies. And we'll do some cultivated daisies. There we go. Wonderful! So now people have kind of a relaxing spot to sit. We have some of you guys in as researchers. The bee eaters are doing well and they're actually expectant. And we can think about... Let's make a little camp over here. We do want to set up camp. Uh, otherwise... Oh, new objects? Yay! We do want to set up camp or else we won't have any food, my friends. We won't have any food at all. And that will be quite tragic because you guys are going to be our researchers. And our animals. We'll have to see how things go. All right, so I think over here I want to put in like a restroom. Ooh, and again, <laughs> I just love the ferns, so why not? But we do need to have like a nice little restroom sort of tucked somewhere. Uh, let's actually tuck it right back here. Ooh, that's perfect. <gasps> the bee eater has laid an egg. This is not a drill. The bee eater has laid an egg. Oh my gosh, there's an egg. We're already, they're already, mm, I can't wait, I can't wait for the sun to rise because the bee eaters, that's a little poop. Where's the egg? Oh, you guys, if only, if only we could see a little better right now, but the sun has set. But as soon as we can see better, we're going to go searching for the egg. Oh, there it is! There it is! This is not a drill. Look at that little egg. We have an egg. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Whoop, what's this? The School of Photography would like you to provide them with a, sam with a photo to use as a sample during the wildlife photography segment of the curriculum. They need only one photograph, but to make it more interesting for the students, they would like it to be a snapshot that contains at least two animals. Oh, we can hopefully do this for sure, because there's like two bee eaters right next to us. Uh, so let's actually take a picture of the bee eaters and hopefully that will suit them quite well. Where, oh, where have all my bee eaters gone off to? Let's look around. Aha! Did that count? What about this one? How about this one? Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think any of those counted. <laughs> Bowie, that's okay. We'll figure it out. 
All right, but I am pretty happy with this. And we have an egg right there. Let's see how the egg is doing. We want to do a little bit of research on that egg after all. <gasps> there it is! You guys! Oh my gosh, we can even move it so that we could be able to keep a better eye on it too. Now we need to look up like what the bee eaters actually do when they lay their eggs. Like, what are the nests actually like? This is why I need so many of you here in our camp to become our researchers so that we can work together to understand the wild lives of the animals here and also hopefully be able to pull in a lot more funds so that the people who come can really be educated about the wildlife. They can really be inspired. We can put in a jeep tour so they can see them even more up close and personal and they can appreciate how this land this beautiful sun mountain should belong to the wild rather than be bulldozed and turned into a parking lot and a ski resort. Uh, so we need to convince them of the beauty of the natural world and we also need to convince them that uh, the not so beautiful parts like watching the bee eaters leave a bunch of bird poop everywhere just part of the natural cycle of life. But alright guys, we're getting a good start I think. The bee eaters are having babies. Um, We've got some new researchers. We're starting to kind of appease some of the guests. We'll appease more of them. Oh, we already had our 100th guest. <gasps> that makes me so happy, actually. Guys, I want to get some of these big goals. I've not done this in so long. I want to get some of these really big goals that we have. That would be so much fun. Oh my gosh. That would be so, so much fun. All right, yeah. We're going we're gonna to shoot for the stars, because why not? All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to help me scoop some of this uh, scat that we need to tend to here in our beautiful new safari zone. If you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, including hundreds of episodes of Zoo Tycoon 2 already done, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, guys, stay curious, ask questions, and I all hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.